So weakness all across the board for now, although we gapped up, but uh, you know, Dao inspired Lusty the IWM is just brutal. It's gonna go to hell probably. Happy Monday, happy Cyber Week. Uh, apparently everything is uh, on sale these days. So the markets on Friday, I didn't trade on Friday because I was in LA for Thanksgiving uh, dinner with family. So the market, because of the new well, on Thursday was closed, the news, the new COVID variant came in as always. Uh, market gap down and uh, it really was weak. And this morning market were gapped up, uh, but you know, they're kind of losing, uh, SPY and IWM are losing their, uh, their gap up. Qs are still staying as strong, so. Um, uh, don't ask me why, probably maybe because if there is another lockdown, um, queues are less affected than a SPY or IWM. I don't know if uh, the, the society has enough strength for another round of lockdown or not. I mean, that's something that we got to see, but uh, I mean, it put a lot of social pressure in <laughs> the first round of pandemic. We'll see how it goes. Dow also is uh, back. Dow is also back into the red. IWM lost it really bad, actually. Uh, so my position on TNA is not doing well at all. So as you know, I had a big position of TNA. I didn't see that one coming uh, on Friday. I had a really, really bad loss. We'll see how the market stabilizes uh, on that. But day trading side, you know, the market was gapping up. I didn't have a good day. I, you know, it turned out to be a loss for me. Uh, I traded AMD and Apple. Um, so, you know, at the open, AMD gave us, a, gave us a really nice one minute open range break up, I kind of chasing it and I got stopped out. On the way back up, I traded long, sold some, that was profitable. And then I did again one more time. And uh, at the end, I think I lost nothing. I made nothing on AMD. So that was another trade that I went long and I got stopped out. So that was it. And now it's actually selling off the AMD. Apple was better. Um, Apple, you know, I did a one minute open range break up on Apple, sold some, I got stopped out and went back again and sold some, added more. It was just not a nice trade. And again, another one for the breakout of this 160.50 level. Uh, it was really not. The worst trade for me was on Twitter. I got to stop that on Twitter a few times. So we tried to catch this uh, double bottom with Brian and I got to stop that both of them. The news came in that the Twitter is, uh, Jack Dorsey is stepping down and uh, that was at the pre-market run up. I was actually kind of long by us. it. I did jump long on it a little bit and uh, sold off. I didn't see this actually position at all until, you know, Brian took this double bottom. I did uh, add it to that, but I lost. I mean, that was my biggest loss today, Twitter uh, from 50 and then to 49. And then we tried to catch this double bottom on that. Didn't work out. And yeah, so I closed my day red on that. But, uh, you know, I, I had some SPXL from Friday that I sold some. So this SPXL made me a little bit on, on the green for the day, but just because of this uh, swing trade that I had. But no, this is this TNA is horrible. I think I'm going to cut, you know, I, I wasn't hedging it and I just got stuck on it. This is a big position on TNA and it's leveraged. So if one person down, this one goes three percent. So it might be another Lamborghini or cardboard trade. <laughs> Ryan, well, how was your day? I mean, I'm not doing really well at all in any direction. Um, no, I had a I had a decent trade at the open on uh, Peloton. I uh, mentioned that I was going to play that for a Rising Devil trade. Yes. Yeah, so um, so Rising Devil trade down, is trading. any pop at the open for the stock of the week, you short it. And you, Brian probably shorted at 45, 45, 20, and then you probably get this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I shorted it. Uh, yeah, forty-five, forty, and then uh, yeah, I got a nice, uh, nice drop on it. Probably, you know, it kind of looked like it was going to hang in there, and I just thought, uh, unfortunately, I got out too early, which is what I often do. But uh, it, it was a, it was probably my best trade. Um, I did take a long on Microsoft um, and uh, played it with calls, so. 335 calls as it was just hanging around just it was sitting on top of the nine moving average just below um, just below yes Friday's high and it just looked like it was gonna making ascending from triangle here, yeah. from here so yeah I, so yeah, from so here, I got, yeah. yeah so I got a break out there and then uh, and sold the calls and got a nice uh, percentage move on that on that so yeah and other than that Twitter and um, yeah Twitter and Lee I played with you I kind of I was a 
was a bit of a scalpy trade, so it got out some and then it ended up getting stopped out of the rest, so. So the news, uh, that was so it. Twitter is halted right now. And uh, usually this kind of halt, this is not a volatility halt, this is a, a news halt. It can get halted until the company releases uh, uh, a statement for investors that was happening. Yeah, apparently the news is out that it says the Twitter board uh, appoints the CTO as the successor. So Jack Dorsey is stepping down, the CTO is coming. Twitter was not doing well in the last couple of uh, uh, weeks. It was really, really down. Yeah. And I, I don't know why it was down like this, but uh, but uh, now that Jack just Dorsey's not. gone. Yeah, just not great engagement. I don't think they're just uh, struggling as a s social media. Same with, uh, I think same with Snap. Snap's been struggling a bit here too. So weakness all across the board for now, although we gapped up, but uh, you know, Dow inspired last did IWM is just brutal. It's gonna go to hell probably. I don't know how far it wanna go down. Um, hmm. Airline and cruise lines got hit really bad. They gapped down and sold off. They bounced back, but they're kind of coming back. Uh, they popped up and now they're sold, selling up again. Uh, the only sector that apparently is strong and it stays strong is QQQ, which is the technology sector. Um, yeah, so Vancouver meetup, guys, I think we're pretty much full. We had uh, uh, over 100 people sign up, which is pretty nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, so looking forward to so Norm, Mike and uh, Kyle, um, Dima, Simon, uh, Peter, uh, who else is coming? Uh, a lot of our, uh, Ed, Ed Martin is coming, by the way, check uh, Ed's room and, you know, his program and schedules. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be, have a really, really good week. A lot of people, guys are here at the office. I think uh, Mike is flying tomorrow, Norm is flying tomorrow, Peter is coming on Thursday. So. I'm going to have a really good week. We have a very busy week with the team. Hopefully see you all in, uh, for a Christmas party or meet up in Vancouver. And uh, yeah, excited. Brian, anything from you? Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's it. Um, sounds good. Oh, Thor is coming, by the way, too. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. All right. Thor have a good, is going to uh, be here. Have a good day and see you all uh, um, tomorrow in the chat.